uh, over at Illumio, uh, you all are uh, uh, one of many pieces of this uh, sort of uh, uh, framework, if you will, that uh, needs to snap in and help address this architecture. Tell us what you're, you're seeing there. Give us a state of the state. So uh, I have the opportunity to be able to talk to a lot of federal customers and prospects, and I'm very thankful for that. And what I'm seeing across the board is that there is a tremendous emphasis on ICAM or identity, as uh, Shane had talked about. Uh, but, you know, and then there's also an emphasis, I'm talking about the different five pillars of zero trust, right? Typically, there's the identity piece, the network piece, the device piece, and then those are where the emphasis is uh, on the federal government. The challenge is none of those focus areas are going to stop the lateral movement of a cyber attack. And when we look at solar winds and we look at the damage that was caused by that uh, breach and then the lateral spread, um, it was caused because there wasn't any uh, trust, uh, any policy between uh, the workloads in the application. So um, if I switch over to another pillar of Zero Trust, which is the workload and application pillar, uh, you, you have to have a really good micro-segmentation policy under that pillar to stop the lateral movement. Because as we know in Zero Trust, uh, you have to assume a breach. So the enemy is already inside the wire. Uh, so knowing that, if you don't have a way to have policy with your apps and workloads, then those packets that are that shouldn't be there in the network are unrestricted and they're going to cause major damage. And one of the things that we're seeing at Illumio is obviously many, many organizations and certainly started in the civilian side of things and that's moving to the DOD, obviously moving to the cloud. But, you know, in a lot of ways, the cloud increases the attack vector. Right. So when you have an on prem data center there's less people that can access that data center just because of the nature of it being inside a federal building. But now you put it to the cloud and you have a higher attack vector. Uh, and certainly um, a big challenge is insider threat, right? And if you have an insider threat who has access to cloud resources can do a significant amount of damage. But if you have micro segmentation to the apps and workloads, that will stop uh, the damage from spreading. Um, but let me just back up one second. Before you start to think about micro segmentation and figuring out that, you need visibility. And I think that's where a lot of folks can start. Right now, I can say definitively that the federal government in general does not know that they're, they can't see their apps and workloads. They can't see the connectivity. And the idea is, how can you do something to, about an enemy that you can't see coming? So you've got to be able to have that visibility first and then be able to prioritize and execute sort of a military principle, right? Of where's the biggest threat from the, the ports that are potentially open. And then you start to lock those ports down through a micro segmentation policy, we call it a containment switch. And then from there, you can then decide and a rollout strategy to roll out micro segmentation. And that will literally shore up um, your network from having an attack moving laterally. 